Today I'm going to be making a basic like texturing tutorial for Substance Painter. Uh, so, start off, what we got is just our basic table model here. Nothing special. What you're going to do is, uh, first I'm going to name it properly, then add our material like this. You can also name this to something like this. We're also going to have to double check our UVs are packed together properly. So to do that, what we're going to do is go into edit mode, select all, and then smart UV project like this. This itself is probably fine, but I'm going to additionally pack it with UV pack master so that it's even better uh, optimized. Now that we have our UV done and our material added, we can just go ahead and select our object. Go export, export FBX. Make sure you have select objects uh, enabled. And then just go ahead and uh, export it. And open up Substance Painter. This, I think uh, I'm using a 2021 version of Substance Painter. I'm sure this would work the same, if not a little different. Is like the newer versions but what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to new press new and then uh you're going to want to do i believe um pbr metallic roughness this one here this template oh wait no i think you have to do wait no yeah this one should work so just do PBR metallic roughness. Then you can say your uh, resolution of your texture. I'm just going to be doing 1K. Select your FBX file. This. Now that you have your object imported, go up here to the top right. Click on this. It'll open the texture baking like window or whatever. So just change your output size. And if you don't have a high poly mesh, just go ahead and enable this. The use low poly mesh as high poly mesh button. And the rest you can leave. Go to the ID here on, under the common settings. Change to mesh ID slash poly group and change this to random. Then under ambient occlusion, just turn this all the way up, the secondary rays. Then under curvature, change the secondary rays all the way up to. Then change the method to generate from normal map. You can change the details how you want. And then for the thickness, turn the secondary rays up. For the height, you can just leave this as is. For the bent normals, I'm going to turn this up too. And that should be it. Now, once you're done that, just go ahead and click Bake Selected Textures and just let it do its thing. Now that it's done that, you can go up here to the top right again, click the brush. Now we can go ahead and start texturing. Uh, you can go to the, like, I think it's the official, like, community asset website for Substance Painter. I think this is where I got this texture, this material, whatever. I'm just going to drag and drop it. So it looks pretty alright, but for example here... I don't like that there's, uh, like, a, for example, I don't like this strip here. To fix that, what we're going to be doing is basic masking. So click the folder on our material, and then right-click on this, click Add White Mask, and then you can start just painting over uh, the part you want to remove. Then you can go to the next part, Add a White Mask, just repeat it for the, pretty much all the other ones. And just like that, it's gone. Do it on this side too. I'm not going to spend too much time. Uh, Tweaking the textures or the UVs and textures and whatnot. I'm just trying to explain the basic masking and 
texturing. Let's say you were happy with this result. What you're going to do is go to the, um, you know, hide, like press the folder here to minimize this. What you're going to do is, uh, I think if we go here, texture sets, you can go ahead and remove the metallic, the roughness, and the height, and then click the plus. Go to unsupported by shader and add a specular channel like that and then we should be able to uh, go up here go to export textures go to uh, output templates uh, go to I've made a custom template here you can copy it real quick it's just a diffuse and normal and specular uh, so I'm just gonna be using this template. Then uh, make sure you set the export or the output template as well here. And then go ahead and set your uh, output folder. Then save the settings. Open it again and then just click export. Now we have our uh, textures exported. We can go back into Blender, remove this material, add a normal specular shader, and then just go ahead and simply apply our uh, textures. Just like that, we have our texture most part done. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more uh, texturing and more modeling focused videos in the future. I uh, hope this helps.